Hello, Captains. I am your host, Brent Justice. Welcome to my channel, Just Gaming for Us. Today, I am continuing the Star Trek Online Awakening Update uh, content that has been released to the game as of last week. I have already done the playthrough of Beneath the Skin, the new featured episode, and I did a playthrough of the Mycelial Realm, the new TFO. Uh, go check out those videos if you have not. At the end of those videos, I have some very opinionated opinions. That's the best way I can state it. Uh, they are my opinions. I have to state that. They are, of course, not fact. You may disagree with my opinions. You may agree with my opinions. And that's okay. Um, I have actually had some several negative feedbacks in both of my past two videos in regards to my opinions. Some people uh, vehemently disagreed with me, and that's okay. We can still get along. I still enjoy Star Trek Online. I'm still going to make Star Trek Online videos. I have a passion for this game. It is fun to me, so I'm going to continue playing the game, and I'm going to continue making videos. I'm not going to let your negative comments dissuade me from that. However, they are my opinions uh, about this update. Not the game in whole, just this update and what we've had with the Discovery stuff. I'm not a big fan of Star Trek Discovery. I make no, um, I don't hide that fact. I'm not going to hide that fact. It's just my honest opinion. I'm always going to be honest with you and you're always going to get my honest opinion about that. But I still like the game Star Trek Online. Um, however, after having played it for, you know, 10 years now or whatever, you do start to see the flaws in it more. You do start to see areas where they either are lazy or not lazy, or they could have improvement, uh, and so forth. And of course, I see that in the game, and I'm going to call that out when I see it. But anyway, all that aside, today we are going to start the patrols in Star Trek Online the patrols. Now, I am a huge fan of patrols in Star Trek Online and I wish they would make them more prominent in the game. They started out being prominent in this game. They were part of the mission journal. You would actually go to a mission in your journal and it would say, go do three patrols and then it would wrap that up. You would get skill points and expertise and all that for each patrol plus an overall experience points for completing all three patrols as a quote mission and I miss the fact that they took that out of the game I wish they had not and all this time I always thought why not put the put a patrol tab in the game that's all they had to do this whole time was just put a tab next to the mission journal that said patrols and list all the patrols in the game so people could transwarp straight to them and go do them um, that's all they had to do and it took them, well, this long to finally do that. But what we're going to play today is the start of the Mycelial Crisis Patrols. These are five new patrols that they did put into the game to continue the storyline uh, of Awakening or this Discovery Era content. Uh, so that's what we're going to explore today. To access these, you go to uh, Events tab. Unfortunately, I think there should be a patrol tab next to episodes, not events. I mean, they can have an events tab, but they should also put a, a patrol tab right next to the actual episodes so you know they're there. That's just my opinion, but I believe that would be an improvement. Under events, you can go to patrols, mycelial operations. So these are the five patrols I'm going to play. Uh, you do select patrol, and you've got the ninth rule, which is the Kinger system. Within the Briars, which is the Briar Patch, Rescue and Search, which is Kern System, Ruins of Doom, which is Imaga System, Centennial, Centennials, which is Donatu System. I'm going to play each of these patrols as a single video. So I, the, the video will only be as long as the patrol is. Maybe short, maybe long, I don't know. So you're going to get one, two, three, four, five videos on these event patrols. Okay? Now, in addition to that, they've also revamped some Delta Quadrant patrols. I am going to also go do those. So after I do these five, I'm going to do the revamped Delta patrols and uh, see what that looks like. And again, each one of those will be a separate video. Um, so we're going to do the ninth rule, Kinger system, in this video. Then the next video will be the next one. 
I'm still adjusting my volume and such. Uh, some people were saying that some of the audio volume was a little wonky uh, in the last video and, and such. So I'm still adjusting that. Uh, if you would want to give me some feedback in the comments as to the uh, qu the uh, audio of the FX that you hear and my voice, let me know if it's too loud or what's too quiet. Uh, and uh, the also the, the actor volume in the game. I think I've increased that now. You should be able to hear the actor volume a little bit better now. But just let me know below if you don't mind. Okay. The ninth rule, Kinder system, deal with mercenaries working for the Ferengi Daemon Madrin as he steals mycelial spores from the Kinder system to sell on the open market to the highest bidder. Sounds straightforward. Let's go straight to it. And I like the way you just click launch and it takes you straight to it. That's simple, easy. That's, that's nice. I love that. Looks like there was a fight here recently. I'm not picking up any House Mokai ships on the sensors, though. If they're here, they're under cloak. Okay, we're getting a hail from the Birmingham. Good to see you, Admiral Cabret, at your service. As you can see, we're dealing with an unexpected breakout of hostilities here. What happened, Admiral? We came here to determine the status of a rather unusual variety of spore. As we were getting our bearings, a Ferengi marauder dropped out of cloak and unleashed hell. Did I hear you correctly? A Ferengi ship with the cloaking device? Afraid so. Fortunately, the Carter and Shergat were able to respond before the Ferengi finished us off. Once they arrived, the Daemon pursued the better part of Valor and went back under cloak. Now that you're here, I believe the Ferengi will cut and run, assuming they're still out there hiding. So I do wonder how the Ferengi have a cloaking device. I hope that's a storyline. That could be interesting. The odds aren't in their favor at the moment. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but I'm reading low-level radiation coming from a nearby asteroid. I think your Ferengi is out there harvesting spores, Admiral. Um, we need to stop that immediately. Take the Carter and Shergat with you. The Ferengi will think twice about attacking a group of ships. And you might be able to put an end to all this without firing a shot. All right, let's get to the it Carter then. is ready to assist you. So, uh, by the way, I am playing on my character, uh, Mira Ricky. Mira Ricky is my Reading discovery. Reading a single Ferengi vessel, Marauder class. They've decloaked. It's my uh, DSC Starfleet character, um, Mirror Universe character, but it is, I am on the DSC Starfleet faction uh, with this character, and... I am flying the Europa Heavy Battle Cruiser Tier 6. I went over all this in a previous video, but just double checking so you all know what I'm running. Pretty cool build here, and let's get going. Uh, deal with the Ferengi Marauder. Go to the Ferengi's location. There's the Birmingham that's damaged. I'm getting two ships to back me up, and I like the waypoint. I mean, nice and simple. Just says here, go here to this asteroid. So Ferengi with a cloaking device, that's a definitely interesting story. I thought I made myself clear to that woolly-faced Starfleet Madrin. Admiral. We know Madrin. This salvage is mine and mine alone. Now run along before I'm forced to damage that pretty ship and take it as a prize. After all, even a damaged ship of that class will fetch a fine pile of hmm. latinum. I think you're overestimating your chances, Madrin. That's what you get for doing your own thinking, friend. Allow me to show you the error of your way. I guess we're going to combat. Have it your way. Burger King, red alert. Leave enough of their ships for salvage. I'll be under cloak. These Gorn must be desperate if they're working for a Ferengi. Ooh, Gorn, okay. The Gorn are fighting for the Ferengi. They're no match for my ship. They just aren't. Ch look at this. Look at this. I'm just tearing right through them. Right shield failing. This doesn't concern you. Find something better to do somewhere else. Target shields have failed. Four shields failing.
Yeah, this is uh, no problem here. I can just... The Gorn, not a problem. It's a pretty powerful ship build. And I can take a lot of damage too, as you can see. Okay, now we speak with Stamets. That's the, uh... The hologram Stamets? Well, there's good news and bad news. Which would you like to hear first? Uh, let's hear the bad news. Bad news, the Ferengi managed to harvest a spore colony from the asteroid before we arrived. He's got more than enough to make our lives difficult if he sells to Jula. Okay, we don't want Jula having the spores. And the good news... The Ferengi ship just dropped out of cloak, and by the look of things, they're suffering a full propulsion system breakdown. No impulse, no warp, thrusters only. So, how do you feel about taking those spores off their hands? <laughs> Sounds like a great idea. Let's do that. So now we go to this waypoint. Madrin's Majesty. So I'm wondering what kind of cloaking device. He probably just stole a, ro ah, a Romulan cloaking you device. Start, let me remind you that I have what you want. And it's one button press away from disintegration. My ship might be a mess, but my personal phaser works just fine. I'm thinking it's it would be a Romulan cloaking device because he was on that moon or planet, remember, with the Romulan missions we did, uh, and he, he was on, uh, what was it, Fro Frozen or one of those um, Romulan missions, and that's where they had the secret Romulan base under the ground, and then, of course, we raided it and, just, and, and you know, took it out, but maybe from, you know, his working on that planet, because it was all Romulans, Maybe he was able to procure or steal a Romulan cloaking device. I mean, that would make sense. You... you just... you beamed out my spores! I love that. We just beamed not them right one, out. Not some, but all my spores! I'm ruined! I... I... I, I uh, don't suppose you're interested in a very promising business opportunity on Risa? Beachfront property? Hard pass. You're under arrest, Madrid. We've got company. Angry company. They're, They're tar targeting Ooh, us. who are they? And the Ferengi. Is it the Klingons? It is Mokai. House Mokai. So here we go. Treacherous. Ship is under Target shield. Did they hit me with intel powers? That was weird. Anyway, they're no match for me either. Getting a little too close. Back off. Well, that was easy. Answer hail from Madrin. His ship is damaged. The nerve of some people! Do they not know the 16th rule of acquisition? A deal is a deal! Ah, but you're not a barbarian like those, those... Never mind. You've got class. I can tell. Uh, thank you, but you're still under arrest. Now, don't be so hasty, my classy, well-armed friend. Before you haul me off, let me tempt you with a one-of-a-kind offer. That... Rhysian timeshare I mentioned earlier, plus a full barrel of Tranya. 2386 vintage. <laughs> That's easily worth my weight in Latinum. Okay, I was looking at this USS Carter ship right here. I am not familiar with that class or what that ship is. But looking at it, I want one. It just says it's a federation. It's got 145,000 hull, which is actually very high. It's got a very high hull. But what class or type of ship is that, the Carter? Can somebody let me know in the comments below? Let me know what ship the uh, USS Carter is here. And can you get it in-game? Because I want to fly that ship. That looks really cool. It's just got a cool design that, like, it's, like, just flat, straight. But it's really cool looking. Yeah, let me know what this ship is, because I definitely want to get my hands on that ship, I think. I want to check that out. Alright, moving on. Ops, prepare the tractor beam. Let's get Madrin where he belongs. 
Engage tractor beam. Tow his vessel to allies. So, would you let me go for the real sort of Kaleth? The Birmingham is ready for action. And not a moment too soon. It looks like Madren's treacherous friends are coming back for a rematch. We are seeing them too, Admiral. I can honestly say I had nothing to do with these ships coming to kill us. They're doing it all on their own. You uh, uh, aren't going to let them kill me, are you? I'm helpless. You have to protect me. We will do what we can. You're still under arrest. All right, one final battle. Let's go and take care of them. Mount Mokai, oh, we got a bigger ship. Warning. Got a, got a cleave attack. ship now. Target shields have failed. Oh, we got more groups coming in, actually. Four shields failing. Target's shields have failed. I'm doing some kind of weird maneuver, and I'm going far away very fast. Warning. Ship is under attack. I don't know what power that was, but I went far away really fast. Target shield have Okay, got a battleship. No problemo. Uh oh, got another group though. There's that power thing again. It's pushing me far away. Rear shields failing. What is that? Is that something I'm doing or something they're doing? Target shields have failed. Right shields failing. Four shields failing. Warrior of the Empire. This is a nice big battle. They're down to a few ships. Keep up the pressure. They were hurting me quite a bit there. There's a lot of them. Target shield has failed. Rear shields failing. Four shields failing. Nice. All right. Let's see what we get from this. We get double skill points. Mission reward acquired. Double skill points. Patrol mark package. Well nice. Fought. Well fought indeed. They'll think twice about coming after Experience us points. Again. Expertise. Dilithium. I'll let Alliance Command know Ooh. what happened here today. 500 dilithium or patrol Jola daily bonus. If any of Modern's friends try to harvest the spores in this system... We'll make sure they have a nice welcoming party waiting for them. And Madrin? Madrin's on his way to a Federation holding facility. We will make sure he faces justice for what he's done here today. Rest assured. Your work is done here. We'll take care of the wrap-up. Cabret, out. Nice. All right. So let's pick. I need some discovery marks. Let's take that for sure. Nice. And I love all the reward things you get for this. A lot of cool stuff. Well fought, Modern. Let's depart. So I, it said we got some dilithium, extra dilithium as well. I guess that automatically gives that to us. Thought it was going to be a box or something. Maybe not. Well. Very cool. Yeah, I um, I gotta say I really liked that patrol uh, because, well, I like patrols in general, but it's just nice to have those back. They're just small, little contained missions, 
I think of them like side quests in this game. It's like you've got your main missions that you want to play. Great. It's got a storyline. It's awesome. Those main missions are good. Then you have, you would want si like side quests, something extra to do, something on the side that are like missions not related to the overall storyline. Now, these pa this patrol seem to be related to the Jaula storyline, but the fact is the patrols don't need to be and they don't have to be related to the storyline. They can be little separate missions, and that's how they used to be set up in the game, is the patrols were just separate missions, not necessarily... Um, aligned with the main storyline but then later they did start doing that like with the delta quadrant patrols all of those patrols are um part of the big storyline in the delta quadrant and it actually does help the storyline because it gives you extra information that you wouldn't normally have with the main storyline but they don't necessarily have to be that either patrols can stand on their own as like mini missions that are just separate from everything like a side quest and that's how I look at them, and they're fun to do because they just don't—they don't take a long time. They're 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 quicker than main missions, but they also have just a little localized storyline in themselves. I don't know; they're just fun. There's just something about them that's that's more—it's just more Star Trek to me. It's just like you know, yeah, you got your main storyline, but then you've got just these are the missions you know that they're doing in between the episodes. You know what I'm saying? It's like you watch the series on TV, those are your main missions, and then the, the, the regular Federation Starfleet missions they do between each episode are these patrols. And that's how I look at it. There's all kinds of things that Starfleet officers do besides just be heroes all the time. <laughs> you know, They go on regular missions, and that's what the patrols are to me. So I like the patrols. So let's look at it again. Um, we just did, I'm, I've maxed out my daily limit for the day, but anyway, we just did the Kinger system, the ninth rule. That was nice. We'll do within the Briar's Briar patch in the next patrol and see what that's like. Another uh, patrol, see, they do have now a patrols tab, but it's under the PVE menu for some reason. The uh, task force operations. That's in the wrong place. Patrols should not be under the task force operations tab, yet here they are. Here's all the patrols, and these aren't even all the patrols in the game. I don't know why they don't have all the patrols in the game, but these aren't near these aren't near half the patrols in the game. These are not even half the patrols in the game. There are a lot more patrols, so the question is why, first of all, is the patrols tab under Task Force Operations, and number two, why is the patrols tab not full, not finished with, uh, with all of them? I mean, five of them are the, are the new ones. I can see that right here. So uh, where are they all? I don't know. Uh, they need to put the patrols tab right here beside episodes. It should be right next to episodes so that you know that these are the episodes, the main episodes, and then next to that would be all the patrols you can do. That would make sense. Why they haven't done that, I have no idea. Now you can also find these, find these five new patrols under Jaula's Discovery, which also makes no sense, but that's where it is. Uh, and as you can see, the ninth rule, we did it, but it's not unchecking it here. That's because I guess I have to play Sentinels first before I can play the ninth rule. Is this not the right order? I don't know. It's really not an order to two patrols. It may not be the right order, but I'm just do I'm doing it in the order that the events tab shows. So that might actually be out of order, but there's really no order, so I don't know what the deal is. They've got several different ways to access these five new patrols, and it's a little confusing. They need to kind of clear that up. They should not be under Jula's Discovery, and they should move the Patrols tab from Task Force Operations to the um, next to the Mission Journal tab, and then uh, under Episodes, and then they need to finish putting them all there. So they still got a long ways to go to fix the Patrols situation, but at least they're on the right track now, but they need to finish the job. Finish the job. That's all I'm saying. Finish the job and do it right. But I do like these new patrols. That was a fun patrol, and I can't wait to play the next one now. Um, yeah, so check back for the next video in a little bit, and I'm going to have that up, and we'll do all of them. So thank you for watching, and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Check out Twitter at Brent underscore Justice for updates. You can follow me there. Also, check out my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash Brent Justice. This helps support the channel and also allows me to publish more and more videos.